Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing some random figures. Here on my channel this week. <laughs> next week will be... Next month will be Transformers week of the next month. So, yeah. Starting the first, which will be Monday, so we will be put off our schedule quite a bit. But we're going to talk about each and every character here on this random review pile. We're going to look at the first one from the 1980s. And this is one I picked up because I thought he looked cool. I know where he's from. He's from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. It's Skeletor! I'll get you, He-Man. <laughs> Couldn't help the voice. He does have some articulation, just not a lot. Given I'm afraid to break him because his articulation is so old. But I got this guy from the exchange, I think, for 10 bucks, and he's worth it. He was worth it. I just got to find him his weapons, and then he is complete. And I will keep him on my shelf, for sure. But yeah, that's all there is to say for Skeletor. He's got a ball-jointed head, which is nice. Other than that, he's a good-looking figure. That's all I have to say about 1980s Skeletor. Okay, we're going to look at the big figures and the smalls. So next on the list, we got this World of Warcraft figure. I think it's World of Warcraft. The Orc Girl from there. I do recognize her from World of Warcraft, the movie. And she is just so cool looking. I didn't have her original weapon. Articulation. She's got some. Just afraid to break her. Real tight head. A lot of movement at the joints. You get a full 360 with the sword motion on the one arm. And she's got a fist that can go punchies. Why not? That's one of those older but newer figures. So yeah, she's cool. What's next on the table? To show off. Next on the list, we got this guy. I don't know where he's from. He could be from a movie or a video game. But his articulation is limited. Given I think he's like a display figure. Not supposed to have any articulation. But otherwise... He's kind of cool, in a sense. He's like a sci-fi soldier dude. I love that. He's definitely going in my collection, for sure, for review. Going in my permanent regular figure collection. Next on the list, we got another Ghostbuster. And this is my first real Ghostbusters action figure. And it's good old Ray. Let's get those ghosts. <laughs> Not very good with Ray's impression, but yeah, he's going on my Ghostbuster shelf for sure. Okay, what's next on the list? We got some G.I. Joes. I couldn't help that. So we got G.I. Joe, the Rise of Cobra, Cobra Soldier. I've never had this. I originally had this guy, but I got rid of him at one point. Regretted it ever since, but now I got him back in my collection with a Cobra Soldier from Venom vs. Valor, and he is cool looking, if I do say so myself. I love finding me some G.I. Joe figures. That's one thing I like finding is Joes. G.I. Joes. Next on the random list, we have some MLPs, My Little Pony. I have been picking these up because they're just so adorable. And I'm a sucker for adorable. That's my mom's boyfriend making that noise. <laughs> and yeah, these are just so cute. Definitely putting them into My Little Pony collection for sure. Next on the list, we got some Peter Pan, and this guy I think is from a cartoon series, Kids One. I don't know the name, but if you know his name, leave me a comment. 
So this is one I picked up especially because he's Captain Hook from Peter Pan. I remember watching that Disney movie when I was a kid. But definitely going in my random figure collection, for sure. Because these are just too cool not to just display, I'll tell you that, for sure. <laughs> Next on the list, we got these things. I forget what they were called, but I had these when I was a kid. They were so fun and so enjoyable. They had the movable heads that you did this and the head moved, which was fun back in my childhood. So yeah, this alien guy, flip over. He's another different guy. Oh man, that's freaky. That is the level of freakiness. And this guy is a skateboarder. <laughs> you like riding a skateboard going, Wah-ha! I think he's missing some stickers right there, but otherwise he's got two different same head design. His head doesn't move like that one does. Okay, next on the list. We got ourselves a Star Wars action figure, and this is one I do not have in my Star Wars The Clone Wars collection. This is Asajj Ventress herself. See, her legs aren't articulated because of this skirt. Her body can move. Her head can move. Her arms can move. No ball jointed wrists. But well, this is based on the Clone Wars Adventures, Asajj Ventress. And as you see, I gave her some custom lightsabers because I don't have her original lightsabers. Well, this is so good looking a figure, it's definitely going in my Star Wars collection for sure. Next on the list, we got some Power Rangers, Wild Force, Power Rangers, Wild Force. Wild Force access, Wild Force running higher, go, Wild Force running faster, Wild Force, stick together, go, we will save the world. I couldn't help that song from Power Rangers Wild Force, because that's based on an old school figure. We got this uh, watermelon baby. I found this at the outlet, and it was just so uh, cute and adorable. I was like, I'll add him to my random figure collection. I don't usually pick this stuff up, but it is just cool looking. Definitely going in my permanent collection with the random stuff, because this is fun. That is just fun. Articulation, head can move, arms can move, no ball joints. But otherwise, it's just so cute and precious. I love saying that. Last things on the list, we got this wind-up dinosaur. And we're going to show you winding him up because I like to have fun with these things. And I got two of these wind-up things. I got a dinosaur, I got a robot. Let's see if we can wind them up at the same time. Look at them whine. Look at them go. They're walking. They're walking around. Oh, man, that's fun. I love some wind-up toys. Oh, they run out of juice. But, yeah, I love these wind-up toys. I love finding some good old wind-up toys. And these are definitely staying in my personal collection, for sure. Definitely going on the random shelf because they're just so fun to play with. Next on the list, we threw in a new item just because. We got this Dino Color Change T... Dino Color Change Dino Strike figure line from Five Surprise. And we get this Battle Armored Dinosaur. Oh, man, it's just so cool. Look at that helmet look at that armor i love it it takes me back to one of those lines i've never seen but still it's pretty cool i had to get the whole thing to put it together the whole ball thing to put it together it was so fun putting this together and figure out how everything went into place and i just dig it definitely staying in my personal jurassic park slash jurassic world 
Legs got some articulation, which is good. Head, some, not much. Legs, not much. Guns, you got some on the guns. And that's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.